Hey all, this is Ben. I'm the developer of Final Factory. Today I'm going to show you how to design space stations, such as this one, which was created by one of our playtesters. It's really a magnificent structure responsible for uh, generating organics. Uh, you can see the comets coming in that are harvested for ice, and they're processed through these little greenhouses here. Anyway, uh, I'm going to teach you how to make something like this. We're going to start much simpler. So it's important to understand that this game is really about creating space stations, fundamentally. And space stations are really a, a series of connected structures. So uh, we have some examples here of some basic structures you might find in other automation games. So this is an assembler. Uh, we can craft a, a bunch of different items out of it. This is an atomic printer. It prints simpler components from ores. Also, there's mining stations. And these are the sort of standard structures that you'll be dealing with throughout the game. The second type of structure in the game are those that connect directly to these. So uh, we have solar panels that we can we can slap onto any valid edge here. And you can see uh, for this assembler, the power icon has gone away because we've, we've fed it to solar panels and now it has sufficient power to operate. So if we pop this solar panel onto the atomic printer, similarly, it is now operational. So these are two distinct space stations right now. They have their own power supply, uh, they're not sharing anything. And to connect these together, there, there are two main structures to use. The first is a connector. So if I pop this in between here, items will flow between this atomic printer and this assembler. So let's say I was producing circuits out of this printer. We can set this filter to circuits and now circuits will flow through the system into this assembler. And maybe this assembler, you need to make something that, that uses circuits, for example, quantum computers use circuits. So uh, now we have a structure that is uh, starting to be ready to produce quantum computers, but we need a lot more here. Uh, we have no inputs um, and the, the structure is, is quite simple at this point. So so these are the sort of three main types of stations. There, there's other types, but this is what you'll be dealing with for most of the game. You have your, your standard stations um, that can't be connected together. Like I can't, you know, I can't do something like this. These are still two distinct stations. They need to be connected together with connectors or struts, which uh, connect stations together, but clearly cannot distribute items or pass items through themselves. And the last kind of structure are those that uh, directly connect to the standard structures. So these, these solar panels uh, can be placed on any side. Now it's important to note that you can't connect these everywhere. So if I try to connect this to a, a connector, that's not that's not a valid connection. You can't connect you can't connect these to the connector type structures. You can only connect them to the sort of standard structures like assemblers or mining stations. So with that out of the way, there's there's a couple important considerations. We're now seeing uh, that we need power, but there are really three main things to balance in the game. There's power, there's stability, and there's heat. Uh, power is sort of straightforward. Um, we've used some solar panels here to deliver power to our station. And it's important to note that the power is shared between all items that are connected together. So this one solar panel, in this case, is providing enough power, eight, uh, to this, this entire structure or this entire space station. This space station isn't really consuming much power right now because uh, it's not doing anything. Uh, the other thing to balance is heat. So when these things turn on, you will need to have heat exchangers to uh, vent heat into space. Uh, so we've added a heat exchanger. You can uh, further attach radiators. And now this is a great segue into the final thing that you need to balance, and that is uh, stability. So once stations get too large, they actually become unstable. And when things become unstable, power shuts down and it becomes unoperational. So luckily there's a there's a couple items in the game that help you deal with this. There are station cores, which are these large structures that when connected uh, will provide a tremendous amount of stability to a space station. So it's not connected right now. If we connect these together with a strut, now this entire structure is connected together. And now you see we're low on power because the solar panels, this one solar panel is not sufficient to power this entire structure. So we will pop a couple more solar panels on here. And now we're starting to see something that looks like 
a space station. Right, we have a couple of assemblers, uh, we have some heat exchangers, and we have a core that's that's providing stability to, to the entire structure. So let's build out a structure together here. We have a mining station, and I'm just gonna craft a couple miners. So we have some miners, and they're going to start delivering uh, this bauxite ore to the mining station. You can see in the inventory, we're starting to accumulate bauxite ore, and we wanna be able to use this, this fundamental resource uh, to create more interesting products. So I like to start with uh, a station core because I know I'm gonna need the stability for a larger space station. And uh, we're gonna build out uh, an atomic printer to create the first product that can be created from bauxite. So in this case, uh, we'll make some low density structures which require two bauxite ore. And uh, we'll use our filter here to, to tell the connector that we want bauxite to flow through here. And now we can see that uh, the, the printer is now creating low density structures. Uh, you can see though it's at 50% power right now, so we will want uh, additional power. So I'm going to slap a couple more solar panels on here. And uh, if, you see, if you look at the station info at the bottom there, we're good on stability, we're good on power, but the heat is now a problem. If you look at our heat menu, this, this atomic printer is producing heat at a rate of 0.5 degrees Celsius per second, and it is gaining in temperature right now. It's at 15, about 15 Celsius. If it gets over 100, it starts damaging itself, so we're going to need to deal with this. So I'm going to add a heat exchanger onto the station core. And now we have a nice little, uh, we have a nice little simple station. The heat exchanger is getting rid of one degree Celsius per second, so we're good on, on heat. And we have a product being made, and we'll have a proper output here too. Um, we'll put it in this this box and so you can see here that uh, the products are moving into the atomic printer and being delivered to this small cargo hold so that'll about do it on this primer on space station design in final factory you now should have some tools in your toolbox to start creating simple stations if you're interested in following development of the game or even becoming a playtester, come join us at the discord thanks for watching